Hey guys, Atsu here, and this is going to be my first impressions and review of Cookie Shinobu. I currently have access to the media server, thank you to Hoyoverse for allowing me on here to try out Cookie Shinobu a little bit earlier. Once again, I don't get to keep any of these characters, and this is not the equivalent of beta testing. But, what do I think of Cookie Shinobu? Well, for a long time now, we've been asking for an Electro Healer, and Cookie Shinobu is an Electro Healer that cuts her own HP, which is going to be interesting, but let's quickly go over how I've currently built her. We've got the Iron Sting on her. I do personally believe her best weapon is going to be the Freedom Sworn, and I'll get into that a little bit later on, but most people probably don't have that weapon, so Iron Sting as the free-to-play option is the way to go. If you have Favonia Sword, that will work as well, but there's multiple different ways to build Cookie Shinobu, and for me, too long didn't watch. I think she is a solid character. I don't think she's overpowered. I don't think she's incredible at any one thing. I think she's very decent at multiple different things. Elemental reactions, providing and enabling elemental reactions as well as healing as well. Allowing you to play more aggressively and have a little bit more stability in your team. Especially if you're looking for super conduct teams with Eula. And the other nice thing, if you are a Eula main guys, you know this domain very well. Tenacity of the middle lift drops alongside the physical damage set that you'll be farming on eula now unfortunately i am not a eula main and i don't play eula so my artifacts on shinobu are pretty bad like this goblet for example has almost no useful stats for shinobu because she does not really need crit damage she doesn't need too much attack she wants hp she wants healing bonus she wants elemental mastery energy recharge these kind of things because she's not going to be your damage dealing character although if you do build her with elemental mastery she can give you some damage which is what i have here elemental mastery time piece and i could go for either one of these pieces but ultimately it doesn't really matter because these stats don't make that much of a difference and when it comes to elemental reactions they don't actually scale off crit rate or crit damage because they can't crit we have the war plume here the feather which has a lot of em on it no hp a little bit of energy recharge and then the flower which has a lot of hp and a lot of energy recharge and then i have a healing bonus off piece which has a lot of em sorry a lot of energy recharge hp and a little bit of elemental mastery as well as healing bonus so with this build what i wanted to show you guys is first of all what kind of damage you can expect from her as well as what kind of healing you can expect from her now with shinobu when she is under 50 percent hp she's is going to actually gain a little bit of healing bonus here i'm going to hide my webcam so you guys can see when shinobu's hp is not higher than 50 percent her healing bonus is increased by 15 percent now 15 percent is a very small amount which is why i still opted for the healing bonus circler as well as the fact that that healing bonus circler has very good substats on it as well now this is the other talent which might make it a bit confusing on how to actually build shinobu hearts repose sanctifying ring so her elemental skill ability will be boosted based on shinobu's elemental mastery healing amount will be increased by 75 percent of elemental mastery damage dealt is increased by 25 percent of elemental mastery now don't be super fooled by this because this is saying for example if you have 1000 elemental mastery you're gonna get an extra 750 healing per tick which is quite a lot if you're going to build her full elemental mastery but it is going to take away from the hp scaling from her elemental skill as well which as you can see is scaling off here as well but i do think em is probably still the best way to go about it the reality though is who has three elemental mastery pieces that are all good on the tenacity of the middle lift set now you can use other sets as well it doesn't have to be tenacity i do personally think tenacity is the best one for her but let me just i'm sorry zhongli let's take down zhongli's hp and see how much shinobu is actually able to heal above 50 percent and then after 50 percent so we'll, i'll cut to the part where zhongli's hp is where he's about to die okay 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 so zhongli as you can see has 2316 hp let us teleport away from the beast that is malphite so he's down to 2316 and if we pop shinobu shinobu is going to take away 30 percent of her own hp to start healing we'll switch we'll do this okay and we have one tick 3500 3500 3500 3500 again five ticks six ticks seven ticks eight ticks eight ticks that's a fair amount of hp 3500 times eight off the top of my head is 28,000 I think something like that 
3,500 times 8, have I done that right? I think it's around 28,000 HP, which is not bad at all. Now, obviously, you can increase this if you have different sets on Shinobu. You can go for the healing bonus set, not the clan one. You want to go for Maiden's Beloved if you want that full healing bonus. Again, some people might have that if you farm for Veridus and Venera. It really depends what artifacts you have. Noblesse can also work with Shinobu as well. And in some really weird cases, I'm sure some people will find a use for Thundering Fury. Although I don't know how or why you would have spare pieces for that. For Shinobu. Let's this time drop down Shinobu's HP and see how much extra healing she can give because once again under 50% she's going to have increased healing as well. Only my 15% but 15% is better than 0%. Right let's go down again. Okay. Okay one more hit. One more hit. All right I'm out of here. Hopefully Shinobu's not dead. Hopefully Shinobu is okay. Shinobu is down to 4,621. If we pop this, the healing is now almost 4,000 from 3,500. So it's gone up by around 400, which is not bad at all. And as you can see, it's gone back down now that she's over 50% HP as well. So if you activate her constellations, you will be able to get at least two more ticks of that healing as well. Now, the thing that I want to show you guys here is the elemental mastery. At the moment, my Shinobu, if I take a look at Shinobu here... She currently has 445 Elemental Mastery, one from the Iron Sting. This passive is not going to increase the Elemental Reaction Damage. And then we have got a Feather, which gives 77 EM. And we also have a Time Piece that gives us 187 Elemental Mastery. And the talent levels are going to be 199. So, here we go. Let's see. First of all, I'm going to put the Zhongli Shield on. Then we're going to drop Shang Ling here with Groba. Oh, I just realized I might be burning off the pyro here, which is not great. Right, so the overloaded damage, I think that was 12k, 12,737. Now, it's a little bit hard to see that because the, the font is so small, but it is there. Now, when Shang Ling is the one to activate the overload, the damage there was very, very small because Shang Ling, my Shang Ling has no elemental mastery. Now, if we can apply some pyro onto you again, right, the pyro's on. And as you can see, the overloaded damage is 12,737. Now, I'm sure that if you guys have better pieces than me, better artifact pieces than me, you will easily, and I mean genuinely easily, get above 15,000 overloaded damage if you have more elemental mastery than than that I do and of course if you do have the freedom sworn and you want to put it on her that is definitely an option and the reason why this weapon is really good on her and also the middle lift set is really good on her is of course when you use her elemental skill it's proccing all the time like every however 1.5 seconds it will go boom 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 and apply electra and it will apply damage and this will activate the passives of both the middle lift set as well as the freedom sworn as well so for me the recommendation would be you go with freedom sworn if you have it and you also go and try and build as much elemental mastery on shinobu as well while minding her hp you don't want her hp to be peanuts but you do want her to have a reasonable amount of hp a reasonable amount of elemental mastery i think this is the balance that you're going to be looking for as well now her elemental burst i don't think her elemental burst is anything too crazy but at the same time it's not like it's terrible either it's just not anything special so if we do this right let's just drop the elemental burst and as you can see you know it applies a fair amount of electro when you have the elemental skill active as well but it, it, it's nothing crazy now i'm sure you can build shinobu to deal more damage but my recommendation is you're probably better off investing those damage artifacts somewhere else. I do think the ideal build for her is going to be, again, Tenacity of the Middle Lift because she procs so many times. We've seen her proc Electra eight times, and that's without Constellations. So the four-piece set here is going to be very easy to activate. When an elemental skill hits an opponent, the attack of all nearby party members is increased by 20%, and the shield strength is increased by 30% for three seconds, which is very, very nice. This effect can be triggered once every 0.5 seconds, and obviously this is basically going to have a permanent uptime as long as you're hitting your enemies here, which is really nice, and this effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. The main person that I think that benefits 
from Shinobu the most is undoubtedly going to be Eula because Eula wants an Electro character. Now, if you don't have Raiden, Shinobu is going to be a really nice character to have because you have healing and you have consistent Electro application application for Superconduct. Other characters I can think of, basically, essentially any melee characters, Hydro melee characters, so someone like Tartaglia, someone like Ayato as well, are really going to appreciate Shinobu. Now, Shangling is another one that, of course, is probably going to benefit a lot from Shinobu as well with the overloaded damage that i was showing you guys earlier there are some really nice ticks that you can unleash as well so if we do that and then we do this and we just look at the hp here it's not bad at all it's not bad at all considering my shangling is terrible we're getting 12,419 overloaded damage oh don't die don't die no don't die malphite but yes if my shangling was stronger it would look way more impressive but my shangling is level 60 so <laughs> don't expect too much from my shangling with some relatively copium stats here but you know it is what it is so shinobu for me i think is a pretty solid and decent character and that is only at constellation zero now if we go up to constellation one this is going to increase the aoe of uh, elemental burst significantly by 50 percent if we go up to constellation two this is going to increase the duration of her elemental skill beg your pardon constellation three gives her more of the levels there but let's go ahead and quickly check out how she is at constellation one with her elemental bus let's see how much bigger it's going to be let's summon you so we can bring shinobu down to under 50 percent asap okay let's get shinobu under 50 percent hp let's do this so we can start getting some electro particles now, one thing with Shinobu is that I don't think her elemental particle generation is actually very good. Because we have been using her elemental skill a fair amount and she still does not have her burst back up yet. So that is a little bit concerning. And I did not pay attention to that earlier, but I have just seen it might not actually be that great all right we have her elemental burst back let's get away from here and then we'll tp back and then we'll see how much bigger her radius for her elemental burst is going to be so here we go 50 percent is nothing to scoff at so we'll drop this and then we'll drop this oh it is significantly bigger it is definitely bigger and the duration is a lot longer and as you saw there, the, the healing was a lot better as well. And the particles are coming slowly but surely. So Favonia's sword might be something you want to consider if you do want to use her elemental burst. But yes, I do think overall Shinobu is pretty solid. Let's activate her constellations as well here. We'll go to... Oh, and the other reason why the healing went up is because of this. Of course, the talent level went up from 9 to 12 as well. So a normal charge or plunging attacks of the character affected by Shinobu's grass ring hits opponents. A thunder grass mark will land on the opponent's position and deal AoE electro damage based on 9.7% of Shinobu's max HP. Okay. So this doesn't have to be Shinobu here as well actually doing the attack. So just before we go into C6 territory... Let's open this up. Let's TP away again. We'll go back here. Oh. That was a rude awakening. Okay. And then... We will do this. So as you saw there, that, that thing that hit for 3,018... Damage there was the, the spikes that came down and gave Shinobu a little bit of extra damage from the normal attacks. And the overloaded damage here that we're seeing is 10,065. And again, 3,018 as well. So that ability can crit. This one. Constellation 4. And this can only occur every 5 seconds. However, if you are looking for elemental reactions, Eula or anyone for superconduct or electro charge or overloaded this just gives you more of a chance to proc with shinobu which in my eyes just encourages you to go maybe even full elemental mastery it is actually really a shame that i don't have full em you know what let's switch this from healing bonus to elemental mastery i probably can't change this during combat if we go with this, okay, I can't change this during combat. That has some dummy big energy recharge on it, by the way. 
<laughs> oh, that, that piece there had some crazy energy recharge on there. So if we go with Elemental Mastery here, this should give us another nice extra chunk. We are 27.2% energy recharge, which now gives Shinobu 648 EM, 151.2% energy recharge. And I am curious to see how this is going to affect her healing as well. So we are above 4,000 just now under 50%. We'll take Shinobu under 50% again. So we're going to need Mr. Malphite to do some good stuff here, as well as the Pyro Whopper Flower. Boom. Boom. Okay. Shinobu is down to 31,680. It has less healing bonus now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me. Again. Again. Hit me. Again. One more. One more time. Don't die. Ah! Okay. So we're going to heal now. 3,500. So it has gone down a fair amount if you have gone for Elemental Mastery. We'll drop this down. And let's see. The overloaded damage. 14,000. I'm pretty sure I just saw 14,500. Not bad at all. Honestly, not bad at all. If we take a very close look here. Okay, overloaded. 14,000. Am I seeing that? 14,584. Overloaded damage. Not bad at all. And Shinobu back to full HP instantly, which is very, very nice. So, mm, <sighs> you lose around 1,000 he healing from not having the healing bonus with my build, but you gain around 3,000 damage per overloaded proc. It's up to you guys. It's, honestly, do you prefer more stability? Then go for healing bonus circlet. Do you prefer more damage? Then go for elemental mastery circlet. And goblet, again, can be HP or elemental mastery. I do think you can actually go full elemental mastery on Shinobu. She still has a lot of HP. You want a lot of HP substats for that, of course, as well. But... Yeah, I would say she's a pretty solid character. Not bad at all. Let's activate the Constellation 6 here. When Cookie Shinobu takes lethal damage, this instant of damage will not take her down. This effect will automatically trigger when her HP reaches 1. And she will also gain 150 Elemental Mastery for 15 seconds as well. Toward weakness. Right. We're going to take down Shinobu and get her all the way down to 1 HP. And then we'll activate Shangling's Burst. And we'll see how much the elemental mastery is going to actually kick in here for the damage. Okay, come. Let's do this. Knock me out. Knock me out. Knock me out. Come on. Faster. Malphite, you've got this. Okay, we're dying. We're dying. We're on one HP. We're on one HP. Oh, Shinobu died. Wait. Okay, so she... The first instance of damage didn't kill her, but the second did kill her. Now, is that the same as Hu Tao? Oh. Oh, Hu Tao doesn't actually get to survive for 10 seconds as well. Well, Constellation 6, you've seen it firsthand, guys. It's probably... <clears throat> it's probably going to get you killed more often than not if you're trying to make her survive at 1 HP. It's not very practical. <laughs> That's what I can say. If you're a bad player like me that relies on Zhongli, it's, it's very much not practical. And now, this is where I wish my Eula was fully built because if my Eula or my Ayato were built, because in theory, I think... That Shinobu is going to be really good for both Ayato and Eula. I have neither of them properly built. My Eula is not good. Constellation Zero. Talent level 666. Serpent Spine build. Not, not a good build. Honestly, not a good build. Now, if it was, I would be able to showcase her off properly. But I'll try my best. And I'll put her in the team anyway. So, <laughs> let's go with this. 
And we'll also go with Raiden. And, hmm. I guess we could also put in... We could put in Diona. We could put in Zhongli. But ideally, if you have Zhongli on your team, you don't really want to have another healer on your team as well. And I guess we could go with... Bennett would be an option, Sing Cho would be an option as well. I think having Sing Cho and Shinobu together will also give you a fair amount of poise, so you have some resistance. On top of these two characters that already have resistance to being interrupted, so that would work nicely as well. And let's see, right, I need Raiden to have her burst up. Raiden does have her burst up. Let's go on over to Ejdaha. Now, my concern with Ejdaha is that I'm going to take him out to, of course, it's Hydro and Electro. Right, let's go over to Masanori, our boy. Okay, so we're back. For those of you who don't know, Masanori at this time should have extra HP. Which is going to be interesting. Right, here we go. Shall we spar? Yes. Okay. Boom. Now, the problem here is Raiden might do most of the damage here and not allow me to charge up my elemental skills. Or elemental burst properly here. Okay, Shinobu. Wow, Shinobu didn't get fully charged? This is a C6 Raiden. Hello? Damn, that's crazy. Oh. Come back alive. Be alive. Okay, the healing's not bad. The healing's not bad. And it's okay if Shinobu takes hits because she wants to take hits. Okay. Raiden's back to full. Very nice. Okay, right. What do I want to do here? Oh, oh, that's not what I want to do here. That's not what I want to do here either. Okay, everyone's burst is back. Right. So first thing that I want to do here is not die. We'll drop this. Wait, I'm trying to think. What do I want to do here? We want to do Sing Cho's elemental burst. Then we want to do Shinobu elemental skill. And then we want to switch over to Eula. Okay, I, I see the picture, guys. I see the picture. I see the picture. Okay. Here we go. Boom. 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 Okay, boom. All right. Okay, I'm seeing it. Oh, I'm seeing it. Look at the healing, guys. I am like, I am not getting, I am not getting knocked back at all. You love to see it. Okay. 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 Yo, you know what? The healing is great. Shinobu is almost dead. Shinobu is almost dead. So that is a sm slight problem that we, we have here. Is that Shinobu can very much easily die very quickly. So that's something worth keeping in mind as well. But I think actually Sing Cho with Shinobu together is really nice. I like that. It also looks very cool. Now this is all from the perspective of a casual normie guy. So if you are looking for the absolute best of the best Shinobu builds, this is not the place to be in. This is like I've only had around what two hours to prep and play with Shinobu because I've been so busy. As you can tell from my channel, I have not been super active. I've been preparing for a lot of stuff, other stuff of the scenes. But I have to say, at first, the concept of an electro healer was something everyone wanted. Because, of course, if you want a super conduct character that's physical DPS, it would be really nice if it's a cryo character. In Eula's case, you want an electro healer rather than having to rely on other characters. It will make your life a lot easier because you have those two components, the electro and the physical, sorry, the electro and the cryo which is a superconduct already, and then the other two slots can be other things. I think Shinobu can work probably very well in the national team. I mean, who does? There's, there's not any. There's not really many characters that don't work well in the national team. But I think with the overloaded damage there, reaching anywhere between 10,000 to 15,000 plus, depending on your build, it can be pretty good. It can be pretty good. Now, again, my Eula is terrible. Am I going to play Eula now that I have Shinobu? 
Probably not. I will pull for Shinobu on my main account. Am I going to go for Constellation 6 of Shinobu? No, I'm only going to go for Constellation 0. Constellation 2 is honestly nice. Constellation 4 also makes it a lot easier to apply Electro, but I do think that overall she's a solid four star i don't think she's bad i don't think she's amazing i think she's decent and i think that is a nice place to be for hoyo verse and for genshin impact and i think she's very cool as well it's a little bit of a shame though because i think her attack string is very cool and when you see her attacking like this i it, it, she's got a nice attack string honestly speaking so it's a bit of a shame that you don't get to really use her kunai here or her shuriken that she's throwing i think it's kunai it's kunai and yeah that's a bit of a shame but for those of you who really, really want to, you can, of course, always use it in the overworld. For Abyss, I don't recommend going for a physical DPS, main DPS Shinobu. I think Elemental Mastery is the main stat that you want to focus on, as well as maybe Healing Bonus. If you are confident with your damage with Eula, for example, and you want to play hyper-aggressive, then, of course, you want more HP and you want more Healing Bonus, so that every time you're face-tanking the enemy while they're slapping you and you're slapping them back, you're having that slapping fight, then you want to have more HP healing each tick, in which case you want Healing Bonus. If you want to go with Shang Ling, or you want to go with Hydro characters, maybe Sing Cho, maybe Ayato, maybe Ye land whoever your hydro character is and you're standing right next to the enemy because if you're not standing right next to the enemy her elemental skill is not going to hit them so you want to be standing right next to the enemy in that case then elemental mastery is the way to go so yes those are my first impressions and my review of cookie shinobu thank you so much for watching the video Oh, it's been very, very, very long so I do apologize but I hope that has been helpful weapons wise again very briefly, I think you are going to be okay with Freedom Sworn is the main go-to. Iron Sting should be okay as well. I guess you could use Sacrificial Sword if you have no other options. The Lion's Roar is probably going to be okay as well if you want to give her a little bit of damage. And Favonius Sword as well is going to be great if you can get some more energy recharge on her. And you need to have at least around 50% crit rate on her build. And I think if you have the Dark Iron Sword, which unfortunately I don't because I fed it away like an idiot, like the baboon that I am, that can work as well. And then this one... I don't think that Ali Flash has a very good elemental mastery substat, if I recall correctly. So I don't think it's worth going for. Other swords might be okay as well. You know, the Black Sword, Festering Desire. I would not say they're amazing, but they're options that, that are there if you really, really want to use those. But I think Freedom Sworn is going to be her best in slot. Iron Sting is going to be a good free-to-play option. Amenoma Kageuchi is not bad as well, but most of her damage is going to come from elemental mastery. So that is that. Artifacts wise, Tenacity of the Millilith is the thing I recommend the most. You can probably go with Noblesse if you really, really wanted to. You can probably go for Emblem as well. I don't recommend going for that. I would put that on someone else. But yes, Noblesse and Tenacity are the two that I would go for. Maiden's Beloved if you want more healing. But I do think Tenacity is the way forward. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye bye.